Geofabrics Australasia proudly presents a series of videos that relate to the Australian standards that are used in testing of geosynthetic products and how these tests relate to practical field applications. The standard environment for this test method is an ambient temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius, and humidity of 65%, plus or minus 3%. 10 rectangular specimens per sample are required. The specimens are sampled so that they are widely spaced as possible over the whole surface of the sample, so that their positions are symmetrically different in the longitudinal and cross directions. 100 millimetres from either edge, any visually non-representative, soiled or damaged part of the sample is discarded. Mass per unit area requires at least five specimens with a total area of 10,000 millimetres squared. For the mass per unit area to be calculated, the rectangular specimens are placed on a balance and a reading to 0.01 grams is taken. The specimen is then measured using a ruler and the width and length of each specimen is recorded to the nearest half a millimetre. For the thickness to be calculated, the specimens are placed into a thickness gauge capable of reading in millimetres to two decimal places and applying two kilopascals of pressure to the specimen. The minimum area of the presser foot is 2,000 millimetres squared. The size of the specimens must be larger than the presser foot. The mass per unit area results are presented in grams per metres squared to two decimal places. The thickness results are reported in millimetres to two decimal places. For both tests, when testing one roll, 10 specimens are measured. These 10 results are averaged to get end typical results for that roll. There is no need to record the sample orientation when reporting mass or thickness results. The mean, standard deviation and coefficient of variation are reported. Relation to the field, AS3706.1 refers to two measurements. Mass. This is an index test as mass cannot be used to define the relative performance of the geotextile. And thickness. A performance test as this value is sometimes used in filtration applications. It does not take into account any soil geotextile interaction experienced in situ. Both tests are a measure of basic physical properties of a geotextile. Geotextiles should be specified on filtration and mechanical properties, not by physical properties such as mass and thickness. The mass and thickness of a geotextile provide limited guidance information in comparing different geotextiles.